Hello everyone, today I'm going to show you something real quick that you might not know about. Uh, as you know, this is the this is the standard background of the Unreal Engine editor, which is the blueprint. I'm sure you're pretty aware of this by now, the gray and black grid that you have. But what you might not know about is you can actually customize it and even put custom images in the background. And that's very simple, it's a built-in way to do it. All you have to do is open your uh, editor preferences by clicking on the edit button on the top left corner and then editor preferences. Here under the general just click on appearance and from here you can even set custom uh, custom themes for the Unreal Engine as well with stuff like being able to change the colors of these panels here. But what I'm going to show you is if you scroll down here and under the graphs as you can see you can change the color of the grid and set them up as however you want and if you expand the background brush here under the background brush you can actually set a custom image of your choice which i'm going to do that now i'm simply going to import an image here on the unreal and then i'm just going to select it by clicking on it and click on use selected asset here i'm also going to click on the inherit button here on the tint and I'm going to set the alpha of the tint which you can see by clicking on the left side arrow to be 0.35 what this does is the alpha channel actually handles the opacity of the image by lowering it you are making it more transparent and under there you can just change these here change these values I don't recommend changing it uh, just leave this as the image itself and the tiling you can actually work uh, This is basically just like a wallpaper on the windows So you can just play around with these settings and then let me just show you what it looks like If I open the editor now as you can see I have this cool background on my editor and This works for any blueprint editor whether it's the regular blueprint or the material editor As you can see and it works on every graph just like that and you can set any image you want and that's pretty much it so thank you for watching and see you next time